Hi, here we are, we're on the road again. This is Neil from Hesse and Coffee Company. Here we are, we're out and about going to our preferred coffee roaster. Uh, we work with these guys because they give us consistency, because they give us quality, and what we're going to have a look at using one of the guys here is show you how coffee's roasted and how we get the coffee from the harvest into your cup. So I'd like to introduce you to Derek. Hello. Hey Derek, good to see you Neil. Thank you very much, thank you for the opportunity of us uh, coming Absolute around pleasure. today. Uh, we're going to start off on our journey of coffee and this is the green storage. Yes it is. So can you tell me what, uh, what happens here? Okay, so what we've done, we've, we've gone through pre-shipping samples, we've yeah. contracted on the coffee. Okay. That coffee's now come into the port of Tilbury, okay. where the bulk of the coffee still would be. Right. And then what we'll do is draw up once or twice a week from Tilbury okay. into this green bean shed. We've got okay. about 250 pallet spaces wow. here. Depending on the, the mix of the coffee that we've got, yep. uh, probably up to half a million pounds worth of coffee at any one time. And this is our immediate coffee. Yep. So when the coffee's here, what we'll do, we'll immediately slab one of these on whole oh. sheets of paper onto rubbish. it. Okay. And so uh, what we need to then do is make sure that this coffee can't be decanted into the silos. Right. And so what will happen is the Q18, okay. uh, headed by two Q graders, right. uh, that we will spike the coffee. Yep. We'll take 100 grams of green coffee from maybe five or six okay. randomly selected yeah. sacks. Yeah. And then what we'll do is compare that to the free shipment sample yeah. that we may have tasted months before to okay. make sure that what actually has physically turned up is what we agreed to buy in the first place. Okay. So when we were doing the pre-shipment sample, the yeah. coffee would have still been back at country of origin. Okay. So it's now so been it's shipped, now been and shipped and shipped it's now been delivered. Okay. Yeah, and okay. so we want to make sure that's, that's the case. Once it's been approved, okay. this gets taken off, yeah. and the coffee is then released for decanting into the okay. silo. Okay. So typically, how long would this all this coffee in this wonderful warehouse and things that here for? Yeah, I, as a mean average, we will probably get through this coffee in the next four to five weeks. Fantastic. And just a random question, green coffee, can it stay fresh forever? Is it, you know, does it deteriorate? It doesn't deteriorate like roasted coffee deteriorates, but what you want to do is make sure that you're using this season's coffee, okay? okay. And we have uh, a couple of ways of making sure that we do do that. Yep. And the most important one is we'll do a moisture check on the coffee. Okay. So okay. what we're looking for when we do a moisture check, we're looking for between 8 and 12% moisture. Yep. That tells us it's fresh season's crop. And that's important to us because that's our starting point for when we start roasting that moisture out. So okay. if it's got too much moisture, yep. unfortunately then something could have gone badly wrong during the processing, sure. the drying yeah, process of the coffee. It could have rained. Okay. And they're known as floaters within the industry. And okay. if it's got too, too, um, if the, the, the moisture is too, too little, okay. then possibly, possibly it could have been in, sitting in a warehouse somewhere sure. in okay. continental Europe. Okay. So, Fantastic. You know, so we'll always make sure we've got this season's crop. And okay. that's, that, and although it's not, absolutely critical it's absolutely important if you're going to offer a good quality cup of coffee okay superb okay we're going to go and have a little wander um, through the factory hence the hence the beer snood i don't uh, normally dress like this but uh, i feel it's quite fetching for me so let's go and have a wander and see what else we can see